What's up YouTube? This is Terminator Juice and today I want to bring you guys uh, a video to discuss uh, publishers, first and third party and the executives that make the decisions but before I get into that I want to thank Francis over at PlayerEssence.com um, said you would uh, share my videos which is really cool um, you don't have to do that I'm not looking to be some big YouTuber or anything but if you're gonna do it that's cool with me I uh, really appreciate it I'm a fan of yours I've been watching your videos for pretty much since the Wii U came out and I go to PlayerEssence.com almost every day um, so so that's really cool thank you um, also new subscribers um, thank you guys uh, like I said I'm not looking to be some huge youtuber I just want to get a conversation going get some discussions going I'm you know I'm a multi council owner I'm a rational thinker I'm not a fanboy and all that um, so I like to discuss video games and uh, that's why I've created this channel so um, also I want to say to Francis uh, not a fan of your 49ers as a Lions fan the last, you know, 2011, 2012, you know, you guys got us. And I'm, I'm hoping we can meet up in the playoffs this year. I think that would be sweet. You know, 49ers and Lions, hopefully in Ford Field, um, that would be sweet. Um, not a fan of your guys' coach, Jim Harbaugh. is a bit of a dick, but can't say I wouldn't want him to be the coach of the Lions. Um, he's, he's a good coach. But all that being said, today's uh, video, I want to talk about publishers, third and first party, um, executives making decisions, poor decisions in my opinion. I got some first-hand experience with that in my job. Uh, my company was owned by a family, locally owned. We ship uh, industrial parts or industrial tools uh, throughout the whole U.S. And uh, two years ago we were bought by a big corporation and slowly but surely the guys and gals in suits in the headquarters offices in states not even in Michigan start making decisions um, without knowing our customers without really knowing our business and just making terrible decisions and it's really affecting our business and uh, you know we got as employees we have absolutely no say in what's going on and it's just it's a real shame and um, I think you know I got a little bit of insight into what maybe goes on with these publishers with the executives uh, making decisions um, I want to start with Ubisoft and basically the delaying of Rayman Legends to go multi-platform just like Square Enix did it with Deus Ex um, I'd like to ask them um, how that decision work out for you 360 and PS3 versions of Rayman Legends I think it was 60 Seventy thousand each, or something like that. The Wii U version was over one hundred ten thousand. Um, you delayed a game for the Wii U when it needed games the most, and then you launched it in the shadow of GTA V, and you're surprised your game didn't sell. Whoever made that decision, if they still work at Ubisoft, they should be fired. I'm sorry. I hate when people lose their jobs, but. You should be fired. That was a terrible decision. You look at Lego City Undercover, an exclusive Wii U game that they didn't delay. They didn't make it multi-plat. Came out a month after Rayman was supposed to. Sells over 510,000 copies. To, on a install base at the time was about three and a half million um, when I checked. Rayman Legends was a more established franchise. It's a platformer on a Nintendo fr uh, system. Beautiful game, awesome reviews. It was a great game, way better reviews than Lego City. That game would have easily hit 500,000, in my opinion, if that game would have came out in February. Now, same with Square Enix Deus Ex. That game sold almost nothing on the PS3 and 360 versions. The Wii U version did a little bit better, I guess, in the UK where the price was the same uh, across the board on all systems, but. You release that game in March or May, whenever it was due, April or May. We don't have a um, drought for the Wii U. System sales probably wouldn't have um, tanked. Nintendo's guilty. Wonderful 101 or Pikmin 3. One of those two games needed to be out in April. But since the other companies decided to delay, you know, Nintendo had to make a decision. They wanted all their games grouped together, but. 
Ubisoft, seriously, that did not work. No one thought it was going to work. Grand Theft Auto V, don't release it then. You just you just killed that game. Um, same with Square Enix, Deus Ex, no one was talking about that game. You released it, Batman Arkham Origins, Assassin's Creed, Wind Waker HD. You put you set it off to die. Why did you put the time and money into into developing the game and you just sent it off to die? So that's that's my biggest problem was those two delays. Um, EA canceled Crisis Three and that was come, supposed to come out in February. Crytek said that game was running beautifully on the Wii U. Now that one I don't think would have sold as well, but it would have helped if you had Crisis Three and Rayman in February. Lego City Undercover, and we had Need for Speed in March. Then, Wonderful 101 or Pikmin 3 in April. And Deus Ex in May. That would have been continued momentum. We wouldn't have seen the sales drop off on the Wii U. So, everyone's at fault. Every one of those publishers at fault. A lot of people want to blame the Nintendo fans, saying that we don't buy games if they're not Nintendo games. The only game you could say that for is Need for Speed. That game got uh, a solid port. Um, most people said it was the best version on console. It came five months late, but still, there was no racing game competition on the Wii U, and that game sold 20,000, 20, something like that. That was the consumer's fault. We should have bought that game. I bought it, and a lot of other people did, but it wasn't a huge seller. So... It's not always the consumer's fault. Publishers made terrible decisions. The momentum of the Wii U just died right off. What did Nintendo have to advertise? They didn't. There wasn't any games. They relied on third-party games. They were supposed to come out. They didn't, and it's pretty much set the Wii U back six months. The sales plummeted, and we all know the story at this point. So that was the first thing I wanted to talk about. The second thing is releasing all these games. In, in October and November, trying to get to the holiday rush. This isn't a Hollywood. You can't release new games every week. You look at the Wii U. Since uh, Wind Waker came out October 6th, we got that. We got a Skylanders game. We got uh, Scribble Knots, um, Unmasked DC, Lego Marvel, Super Heroes, Assassin's Creed 4, Batman Arkham Origins, um, Sonic Lost Worlds. Deus Ex, and uh, for the multi console owners like me, Battlefield 4, and then a few days later, get Call of Duty Ghosts. That's 10 games in a month. People can't buy all these games. Not I don't think a single person is going to own every one of those games in, in that month. Maybe over time, some of these games will pick up once the price drops and stuff, but you can't release all these games all at the same time. No one's going to be able to buy them all. You just, it's not going to work. I mean, you think you got the best game? And you're going to, in your GTA, yeah, you could do it. But for all other games, it's not going to, it's not going to work out. Um, maybe some of them got delayed, some of the dates got changed, but still, you can't release all these games at the same time. It's just not, there's somebody, multiple games are going to suffer. And it's just a fact. I don't know why that's so hard to figure out, but apparently it is. Um, a third thing I want to talk about is Ubisoft. Nobody wanted Assassin's Creed every year. I don't know who came up with that decision. It was probably the same person who thought delaying Rayman Legends and making it multiplat was a good idea. Nobody. Just There's nobody who wanted that game every year. The sales show that. PS3 version sold 270,000 out of 80 million um, PS3 users. What does that tell you? I mean, the PS4 pre-orders were higher than the PS3 sales. You know, that's that's a little bit of a different subject, but nobody wanted um, another Assassin's Creed after one year. Those games need three years, I think, minimum. You need to miss the game. There's so many other games you can't release that every year. Look at Call of Duty starting to taper off. Um, Ghost only did half the sales of Black Ops 2 did in the first week. Um, Madden's dropped off over the years. Guitar Hero tried it. It didn't work. We don't want these games annually. 
stop doing it. It's just going to kill the series. You probably already got Assassin's Creed 5 coming out October of 2014. It's not going to work. People in the suits make these stupid decisions. It looks better for them to make um, income every year on a franchise like that, but we get burnt out. Ask the consumers. Ask the gamers. No one wants that. Just just because Call of Duty, just because it worked for five, six years, there's only room for one of those every year type of games. Battlefield comes out every two years. You know, that's starting to build up a little bit more momentum each year, but you can't come out every year. It's just not going to work. I don't know what else to say. I don't know why that's so hard to figure out. Um, and the fourth thing I want to talk about is... Black Friday's coming up, November 29th. Last year the Wii U sold over 400,000 units um, on Black Friday. This year we get a, we have a $50 price cut, or the Wii U has a $50 price cut. Wind Waker bundled in. New Super Mario Brothers U bundled in. They got the Wii Fit download trial, the Wii Sports Club. Um, you know, all the other games. You don't think that system's going to sell? On Black Friday, you're a fucking idiot. I wouldn't be surprised if it did 400,000 plus again. And why am I bringing this up? Because your game publishers, third parties, your games aren't on the shelf. Assassin's Creed 4 is hard to find. Splinter Cell is non-existent. Nintendo Wonderful 101 is nowhere to be found. Deus Ex nowhere to be found. Batman's hard to find. Four, let's say 400,000 Wii U sell on Black Friday. How many of those people are going to pick up an extra game or two? Especially if there's a good deal. You have to have your game on the shelf. You, be, you could potentially looking at a gain of 100, 200, 300,000. Um, you know, combined, let's say Ubisoft, if, you're, if you take Splinter Cell, Rayman, and Splin um, Assassin's Creed, those three games together could... You could potentially see a 300,000 sales combined if you have the games on the shelf. If you go to the store right now, the Wii U, there's hardly any games except some of the launch games are still there. Like Batman, Arkham City, Assassin's Creed 3. A lot of those, because they, they must have produced so many copies that they're just hanging around. Maybe that's why, but Black Friday coming up, you got AAA titles. Take Ubisoft, for example. Put a buy one, get one for $40 on Black Friday, or buy, buy one, get one for $30, get Splinter Cell, get Rayman Legends, get Assassin's Creed 4 on the shelf. They're not going to sell if they're not there. Get them on the shelf. I guarantee you, you'll see a surge. It'll be worth printing the disc. You already paid the development costs. You've already paid for the game. You're, you're going to just cut your losses. Print some more copies, put them on the shelf. I don't know how, that seems simple to me as a consumer. If your game's not on the shelf, I'm not going to buy it. It's just, and if it's on the shelf and you're picking up and looking at it, there's a good chance. Now, Super Mario 3D World's going to get a lot of sales. The game's bundled in. Obviously, no one's going to buy retail copies of Wind Waker when they're buying the bundle with it. So have your game on the shelf. It's simple. I don't, Maybe I'm just uh, looking at it from the consumer aspect only, but these people in suits make stupid decisions. I've seen it firsthand. They need somebody on the lower level. Talk to the Miiverse. Get on the Wii U. Um, get in the community. Ask questions. You don't have to present yourself as some uh, representative of that company, but ask questions of people. Make a deal with Nintendo. Rayman Legends would be a perfect bundled game. And they, they get Rayman Legends, they, oh wow, I like this. Um, they see Ubisoft, they see other Ubisoft games. EA, if you have a quality game out there, at launch, people would be uh, looking for the next EA games. Same with Warner Brothers. Arkham City had terrible frame rate issues. So people probably skeptical of Arkham Origins, but apparently the game runs okay. Get that game on the shelf. You got Injustice. Um... I'm sure you got copies lying around. Get them on the damn shelf. Black Friday, you will sell copies. I didn't go to, to college and I know this. I don't know why these people with master's degrees 
in business and all this. They can't figure out simple things like that. So, all right, this turned into a bit of a rant. It's longer than I wanted to. If you guys watch it to the end, appreciate it. We'll see you on the next video.